Good evening, Twitch. How you doing? It's Sunday night. Hopefully you're having yourselves a good weekend as we all get ready for another week. <laughs> oh man, oh man. Well, hopefully you had a productive week. Mine was somewhat productive. Spent most of my time, though, looking uh, for... I can actually find... Well, simply put, trying to actually find other places uh, how much it is, like the cost of living. I guess would probably be the best way to say it. Finding out how much it is actually cost to live in a few areas. I'm not planning on doing any sort of moving anytime soon, but it's a very sobering experience when you look at how much you're earning and try and see like what kind of future you can build with that, if at all, if at all possible. And that's the real kicker: is just trying to find, you know, trying to find an occupation that you can do. Or an occupation that you want, that'll also be, you know, supp uh, be supportive of your lifestyle or of a lifestyle. And that, in my personal opinion, is a lot more rare uh, these days, especially if you're just, an, especially if you're just an individual. So that's kind of been my focus for the day. I never didn't get to work on trying to move more things up. Uh, trying to actually move more things up into my room or anything like that, or even really play games and stuff. The only game I really did get to spend uh, time playing outside of streaming was uh, Splatoon. Splatoon 2. That was pretty much it. And I had fun actually doing the... Uh, playing... Uh, uh, playing during the Splatfest and stuff, but other than that though, like, it's really difficult when you actually work a full-time job and you're trying to balance things like... Um, you know, work, working that full-time job. So you're up at 6 a.m., you, know, you travel to work and such, and then you're, you know, you're just stuck working. You know, it's not even, you know, not even having people you could actually really talk to or anything like that. Or people you, not even people you could talk to, people you just don't, that aren't on the same wavelength as you. Like, you could do the job, but they're not on the same wave, wavelength as you. They don't have the same interests or hobbies or anything like that. So it's really hard to actually, uh collaborate with them and that's what makes things kind of difficult but that's why honestly i've kind of put more focus towards these streams and such and i think honestly when 2019 rolls around um i think my mission statement might actually might actually bring some growth um to the channel kind of things i just want to focus on doing instead of just playing games i want to be trying to beat my backlog um i still want to do that overall though and I've enjoyed, you know, beating a lot more RPGs and such. But, like I said, it's a huge war, you know, it's, it's just a major difference in the times we live. In when people had a lot more free time on their hands just even a couple of decades ago compared to today. We just don't have much time anymore uh, for ourselves as individuals. Of course, it was, of course, it was always a lot worse way, way back when, but we kind of reversed it. Um, we reversed the flow here. We're now working harder than ever, not getting much of a benefit of it. But let's not worry about that, though. We are here to play a Tales of Pony here. Why don't we actually jump straight on into the game here and we can actually read the synopsis here for the first time. We will remember how to read it. Because we finally got a new party member to our cast. He is Regal. And he actually apparently really wants to talk to Persea. Because, to say Persea, well, from her affliction of having a precious crystal inside her, we're going to need to actually change a few things. Actually, I'm curious. We never actually really even took a look at his title. Convict. The shackle is the symbol of the crime he committed. Its weight condemns him. Though so he is pretty much your... He is very much your... Uh, like give him like the best stuff. I'm gonna remove those just for the interim. For the interim, I want to actually put <clears throat> Colette back in my party. I feel like it's good to know that no matter who I play as, my party is gonna be pretty much the same. But I do actually kind of like I kind of like the setup I have here going. So I need to use Heavy Tiger Blade and Demonic Thrust more, and I don't think I need to use anything else, really. Yeah, so this Demonic Tiger Blade, which is Demon Fang and <laughs> Tiger Blade. 
So we're gonna be doing that for a while. I'm gonna actually go through my team members here. Stun bracelet. Stun, protects against paralysis. Basically, I just don't want any of my characters to be stunned. Talisman, increased defense. Poison, paralysis, heal. Got to mirror. That actually is probably. I actually think that Spirit Ring would actually be good on Rain. Although, actually, you know what? She doesn't really use it that She doesn't, doesn't use it that much here compared to him. Can he get? Let's see. Reduces physical damage, but raises elemental damage. Because that just puts him in the in the in the battle. Is there anything that increases strength? Heal bracelet, which sees 10 max HP for every enemy defeated. And eh, let's keep him from uh, paralysis. And you can actually just Yeah, I think we're good. Hey, how's it going, Newton? We're going to war. I don't have time to play war though. We've already beaten Dark Siders on this stream. Twice. Wait, no. Have we beaten it twice? No, we've beaten it once. But it was the HD Master Group uh, version. Actually no, I think we actually did do it twice. It was literally at the end of the year, and I went through Darksiders again. <clears throat> uh, and if I could say in a word, it's honestly been... Uh, I, I feel like today has basically been very unproductive. And also, let us read the synopsis here. We almost completely forgot that. Altessa and Tabitha. Lloyd and the others set off for Altessa's home, south of Ozette. The group arrived at Altessa's home... When they asked Tessa about Perseia, the dwarf grew surly, refused to talk to them, and kicked them out of his house. Lloyd was furious and demanded to know why he did such an awful thing to Perseia. Tabitha answered him instead. She said that Perseia's key crest was made from an ore that worked in the exact opposite way of the normal inhibitor ore. If they made Perseia's key crest with inhibitor ore, there was a good chance she would be saved. According to Regal, inhibitor ore was mined in the mining region on the southern continent. Lloyd and the others set off for the to uh, Toezy Mount Valley Mine, located in the center of the southern continent. Sounds like you got, sounds like you were able to put in a lot of time in. Oh, we have s now that we actually have access to the world. This is one of those things. This is one of those things. You know, for now. We have the world almost open. We almost have the world open to us. Homesick. Are dwarves rare in Teth Yala as well? well Tess is the only one I know of. Though he's alone. Must be lonely. Hey, what's wrong? Ah, oh, no. I was just wondering what Dad's doing right now. <laughs> Lloyd's getting homesick. No, I'm not. Here, one second. Give me a moment. Okay, there we go. So... I wonder how many piers there are. They said center, so... Wow, you're already at the end of, um... Already at the end of, uh... Shadow of the Tomb Raider? And again, I guess I look... I guess if you look at it, it probably isn't a very long game. Let's see... You kind of make it obvious which area you need to actually go to. I mean, we are exploring the final continent in this area. Alright, I guess this is actually the place we need to go. Yeah, I, I honestly haven't been able to play any games at all lately. Hello? Oh. Sorry, navigating the ship is actually kind of difficult. Oh, there you go. I know I could just use the right stick, I would have done that. 
gonna be a piece of cake. Got the rain again. Yeah, I think I just bought so much stuff. Just as I expected. Empty magic bottle. Also forgot to fix her strategies. Oh no, I actually do have her as uh, move freely. That how it happened to be the first game of the reboot trilogy and the second game. There, uh, there's something about this game series I just want to stop playing. Well, honestly, I see a lot of people actually really like the Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider series. I don't see that as a bad thing at all. I mean, it's a it's a confident. You need to remember that enemy's weakness. Oh man, you're making me study here too. It's a competent third-person shooter. At the end of the day, that's at the at the core of it. That's what you can get, at least from Tomb Raider. Don't worry, leave it to me. And I think if anything, pretty much like that series has kind of jumped the you know jumped the boat or jumped the shark. Say. Angel feather. That just drains you so much. You picked the wrong guy. How much money do you? I'm not getting any money at all from this. Toezy Valley Mine. Okay, I guess we're just entering the mine. Wow, so this is that sealed mine. Sure looks like it might house a ghost or two, don't you think? Hmm? Ah, will you just be quiet for a little while? With you, don't get mad, Sheena. This isn't good. What's wrong, Regal? The, do par the door's guard system is out of control. Someone must have destroyed it when trying to force their way through. Then let's bust it up even more. That's our Lloyd. That's an easy, uh, easy to understand plan. Yeah, I'm fine with that too. Well, if Lloyd says so, it's fine with me. Are you sure? Don't blame me if it goes wrong. Honestly. What an abnormal. Ah. Uh... So I, I got it. No way. Ah. Uh... Huh. Really? Guard arms? Got a repair unit. There's a lot to scan here on this thing. Uh, this is not even a... I can't even actually scan the guard arm. No okay. Okay. I feel like this is kind of going... I feel like I'm doing things out of order. Oh, there it goes. Okay, I was wondering. Oh. Oh. That's not even the arms. Wait, can you not? Can you not scan the arms? No, you can't. Okay. Oh, that doesn't even actually work. You can't even do a unison attack on this thing. Oh, it spawned more orbits. Okay. Good job, everyone. Hey, I got some mithril. <laughs> can't believe we had to fight a door. Okay, good work, everyone. Let's go get that what you call it inhibitor ore. Yeah, that. Come on, let's go.
They're all so violent. Did I seriously? Aha! Sage was found. Dar best boss. Dar was kind of underwhelming, honestly. I honestly thought there would be a town around here. Hey, hang on a second. I'm actually honestly curious. Is there a town near us? Or at least a marker? I say there actually is a town near us. All right, we'll go there and then we'll see if there's a town. Something tells me we should be fine. We should be fine. What the heck? I'd say why is it the bird down Man, there's here? There's a lot of them. Kidding, there's a lot of them. Should have bought more magic lenses, apparently. Oh, these bats have. I'm actually surprised, like, a lot of these are actually have reused sprites. These guys do a lot of damage, though. Right, I gotta remember, I have no magic. Sorry. I can't concentrate. Light. Right. 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 Don't bother me. Ready? Dance. Burn. I like how it actually shows the door. Just as I expected. Well, let's increase our health more. Let's enjoy some fried rice. At least now we can get back There's to fighting. Too many of them. Yes, a lot of them. Oh, the bats. I'm like, what am I targeting here? It does feel good after all, after, to be able to really just be able to sit down and play games. I'm trying to think like what else people would actually, what I could actually create and such. That people would want to actually, like say, I know YouTube is pretty much has the monopoly on it. But it's like trying to offer something that people want. Did she get, she got petrified. How the heck did she get petrified? Oh, that's not good. Well, that's why at least we have panacea bottles. But how would you drink a panacea bottle if you're stuck? Examine. Oh, we have mine carts. Mine from ancient times. The machines of this mine are built quite sturdily. This was a mine from the ancient times. These machines are also from that time. What? Rather than preserving ancient relics, they're act still actively using them here? Well, I suppose you could look at it that way, but... Blasphemy! This cannot be allowed! Bring me the one responsible, now! Ah, uh, I'm sorry. It looks like we could jump over this. No, that boulder's in the way. And that... A cutscene respawns the enemy. Huh? That's kind of a surprise. <laughs> That's actually a surprise. I, I swear, I think uh, Rain's only spell is Photon. At least if you take her all the tech route. That was just warming up. There you go. That builds up all of uh, all of his exp all of his TP. Huh? Uh, did does I do I get the minecart machines that are still alive? Why are the machines running? This is an automated mine, so it runs by itself. Wow, I don't really understand, but it sounds convenient. Oh, I must simply disassemble and analyze this. So, anyway, ignoring for a minute, where's the inhibitor? The 
The tunnel with the inhibitor ore is up ahead. If we get on that elevator platform, it should take us there. Oh, there you go. Oh, also, by the way, I looked up who the voice actor was for Regal. I should have honestly recognized it, since we knew it was Roy Harper, but it's also Crispin Freeman. What are you thinking so hard about? That's not like you. The lift ca cable split halfway, right? I was just kind of wondering where it leads. Oh, that's easy. Yo, Regal, give us an explanation. It leads to an old tunnel. The apparatus in the middle switches the cable, but... We can't get to it like this. Uh, the lever uh, thing is a switch, right? Can't we just try hitting it with something? Something? Like what? What else? What else indeed? Oh, why don't we explore this cave here? Oh. Whoa, that's one huge boulder. Can't keep going with that thing in the way. What now, Mr. Regal? In case something like this happens, a special item has been prepared in this mine. I'm sorry, but please go back into the previous tunnel. It should be in, uh, in there somewhere. What do you mean, it? Come on, let's go. Hey, don't leave me behind. Is it just me, or has his personality changed since we got here? Yeah, he kind of knows a little too much about these mines, honestly. He knows a little too much about these mines. And at the very least, we can get a good shot at actually hitting this thing. Push this ring. There we go. I guess that's going to be our mechanic. There's a lot of them. Sorry. I just want to attack the one. I cannot hit him at all. Don't get my way. Heavy tiger wood. Heavy tiger All of these guys are weak to lightning though, apparently. Or something. Knocking these guys around is actually pretty good. Or pretty easy. Not a bad exercise, was it? Finally actually getting a lot of uh regions as well. For customization. I don't know if she says this is ridiculous based on difficulty or easiness. Okay, having her judgment is really good. Apparently she can petrify. Uh, you gonna cure her, Rain? Are you okay? First day. I guess not. You picked the wrong guy to mess. I guess. With. All right. I guess. I guess she'll just stay as a uh, statue then. There we go. Can we push this? We cannot push this. Doesn't react at all. Damn. Does it get here too? Relax. The inhibitor ore is not that way. How do you know that? I've worked in this mine before. I see. Then let's be on our way. Hmm. You worked in a mine? Yeah, right. Zellos? Ah, nothing, nothing. Just talk to myself. Come on now. Let's go, Lloyd. Come to my cute Perse- to help my cute Persea. FBI, open up! Reinforcements, huh? Burn. Oh, come on, really? Understood. Eruption. Are you okay? I'm just trying to get 50 for Tiger Blade. It seems like if you just use your, your test special abilities 50 times, 
you'll unlock their, you know, next proceeding skill in your chain. There we go. That wasn't too bad. Well, I guess I'm going down. Also, I'm now noticing I'm getting a lot more money. I'm getting a lot more money too, and I'm happy about that. Let's go get on this platform here. Everything's automated. I do wonder how far I am in this game, because I think actually... I hate to say it, I think we're actually in new territory now. I don't remember any of this. At all. So I think it's about... I think we can actually say... This is as far... I don't remember this. This is as far as we got. I like how I'm attacking the other enemy. I don't think I scanned him, did I? Oh no, I didn't. I should've just... All I need to do is hold down the R, uh, the R button. I didn't do it. Let's see, how many times have I used uh, Heavy Tiger Blade? We used that... Okay, we used that a couple times. So, was it Demonic Tiger Blade? Yeah, it was Demonic Tiger Blade. I'm still gonna be using Demonic Thrust for a little bit longer, and then I'm gonna start using Demonic, uh, the other one. I should actually check what uh, Genius's abilities are. But I think he's still using the level ones for his um, for his unison attacks. Actually, give me a second. Mids, yeah, he's using all his mids. Does he have any other heavy ones? Novice, novice, novice. Dreaded wave advanced. Here it is. Let's see what dreaded wave does. Corruption. I don't think he got an advanced skill or anything else. Raging Mist. Create a hot mist around the enemy. That actually sounds like... That actually sounds good to use. Oops. I forgot about Colette. What's Colette's abilities? He hasn't actually been using a lot of them. Item Thief. Lightning Whirlwind. Parable. Ray Satellite. Have any level threes? Item Rover. Oh, let's use Item Rover. A oh, Item and Gold. Angel Feathers. It's an angel. Brings the flight up here and attack the enemy. And Judgment. Is ooh, I wonder if that actually does anything. Well, I know Ring Whirl. I know what was it? Not Ring Whirlwind. Yeah, Ring Whirlwind actually. Does that. So I'll keep that one, because at least it has some uh, synergy with rain. And we'll keep Parables. Saint Rapier was found. Uh, oh, that an upgrade? It is technically an upgrade. Yeah, that's actually an upgrade. I think if anything, though, I'll keep with the Shiden, because this is a mine inside this machine, so... There's a good chance things are going to be weak to lightning. I'm going to go with that. You're going to regret this. What the heck is those things? Tentacle monsters are out in force, apparently. Not too Are you ready? Angel feathers. No way. Here we go. Item set it way. Oh. I was curious. I don't expect many things down here to be weak to holy. If I was in that undead forest, then I would switch to it. Sand Saber. Um, if I guess, I'm gonna guess, yep. That is a huge upgrade for him. That's how much we've neglected our characters here. Have to split mail at least. 
I am... I am a terrible person. I have neglected everyone. Let's see... Ooh, Sorcerer's Ring. What can I do this time? Let's try it out. Wait. The Sorcerer's Ring used here uh, was used here to blast rock. Don't use it carelessly. Blast? How? When you use the Sorcerer's Ring, a condensed ball of mana appears. Three seconds later, the ball of mana explodes. For next to it, we'll be caught in the explosion. Gotcha. Let's use it carefully and boldly. The Bomber Ring! This is gonna be a piece of cake! <laughs> Okay, can I please use this? There we go. You guys actually aren't that tough. Alright. Bummering. Those bombs are made out of pure mana. Yes, I don't understand the details, but apparently that's how it works. I wish I had a magic spell like that. Yeah, you can't break boulders with your fireballs. Or push buttons, either. And I could turn you into toast. Want me to give it a try? Whoa, hey, stop! Well, that's what you get for calling him a brat. I wonder. Oh! I am... Oh, there's a chest there. Crescent Axe. Oh, it literally is a bomber. Oh, that is amazing. That is cool. I actually get bombs. Is this supposed to be like an homage to Bomberman? I mean, I'm okay with that. Let's try it out here when There's it gets this folder. Wow, that costs so much. All these abilities cost so much TP. Ready? Just as I expected. Alright, let's use the bomb. Cool. Nice and quick and easy. Wonder though. Can we open? Aww. I was hoping we could open it. There's a lot of them. Wait a minute. I just realized, how do we get over there then? Why do we need to How do I actually get over there now? I got paralyzed. Rain, help me out. Come on. Come on, Rain. All right, never mind. Good job, everyone. I should probably actually give her the command. Because I have to jump over. But how am I going to get over You're there? Since this. I can't use my sorcerer's ring. Okay. Keep working on it, okay? There we go. How am I gonna get over there? I actually don't know how I'm supposed to get over there. 
Oh, I'm dumb. I'm really, really dumb. It's a bit convoluted, actually, because, like, oh, we go up here, then we have to go back downstairs. Go back downstairs. Turn it back to normal. Go back upstairs, and then do that. That's kind of annoying. I don't know if we can actually get there in time. Actually make it go one cycle. Can we one cycle it? No! No! Oh. Yes, kiss the cannibal. I... Something tells me if I opened it up immediately or turned on the machines instantly. Actually, no, that wouldn't make sense because the platform uh, was also working in sync with this thing. Yeah, it is working in sync. Alright. Uh, we'll hit that. I gotta go back. This is a very convoluted uh, solution here. I mean, I'm okay with that. But this is definitely new territory for me. I think this is actually where I stopped playing this game. I should actually... You know what actually what I think we'll do? After tonight's stream, I'm gonna go check. I'm gonna dig out the GameCube disc, gonna dig out the memory cards, and actually take a look. And see exactly where uh, where I was. Where I left off. That's like the one thing I haven't done yet. I actually wanted to go to my local game store. Because I wanted to pre-order Smash Brothers Ultimate. I still haven't done that. Unfortunately, I just haven't been able to make the time. To actually do it. I should actually probably just go there more often. But it's hard actually kind of taking time after a long day of work. Especially when you're dressed to the nines all the time. You know, I normally, honestly, it's strange. You'd think I'd be the type of person that's actually okay with dressing extremely formally all the time. But I'm actually not. There's very few times I'm actually okay with dressing it extremely formally for situations and stuff. But yet, for some strange reason, I think it's honestly the tie. I think it's pretty much the tie. Like, to me, the tie's kind of the, de I guess, more or less the deal-breaker. Well, that and having to actually iron your dress shirts every single time. I don't think this place, oddly enough, this place isn't, isn't really giving me trouble. It's just, well, that was... That was a little more... It wasn't optimized, I guess you could say. I'm gonna fight each of these things, because I want to see which way I initially need to go. Watch this! Ooh! I didn't expect that. Ah, oh, darn it. I needed you, genius, and you let me down. Iron Greaves were found. Nice. Regal gets a weapon. That's actually a pretty big boost for him. Alright. Well, I think if we go by the right path, it's better. We're playing Bomberman, ladies and gentlemen. This, this is how you did... Actually, this is actually how a lot of mining was actually done There's back in the... Uh, Pack it during the, uh, in the West. That's at least a really good heal. Ah, come on. Are you okay? Thanks. Cover. Yeah. Pancake time. I feel bad. Blind enemies in this game kind of have it rough. Like, all it takes is one hit. And they get knocked down for the count. Alright. 
We got beef. Alright. Is there a way down? No, not yet. Definitely a lot of enemies, though. Or I could just keep getting hit by everyone. Would you stop that? Angel Are you okay? I'm actually surprised this game doesn't actually let you use level all level three abilities all the time. I mean, it kind of makes sense though. They want you to actually use like level one to level two, level three. So at least I now know how that works in terms of the combat. Alright, so I guess we're gonna blow up this one. I'm gonna guess we could just blow up everything. That, that's kind of my mindset right now. We can just blow up everything. Battle suit. Ooh. Now we're getting fancy with these uh with this armor and weapons. So let's see what this does. Turn on. Let's try and turn on all the machines, shall we? It seems like to be that seems to be like a good solution. Is there a machine? Let's turn it on. Let's see. I guess we're just blowing them all up. Is that up? Looks like a gnome or something. Oh, that is an actual... What the heck is that thing? Memory seal, let's save our game. Let's go see what this little guy's up to. What's this thing? Hey, you losers. Whoa, it talks. Of course I talk, you better watch your mouth. He's not very civilized. I'm on a journey to find and eat some potion. Eat? Are you sure you're talking about potion? It's something that only, uh, it's only for adults and make them feel good. Seems he really does mean potion. Do you losers have any? Does anyone have potion? I'm afraid not. If we'd known this was going to happen, I would have brought some Palma potion. Flanor has a famous drink called Flanor potion. And don't forget Misuho's fa uh, famous Misuho potion. I guess we don't have a choice. Let's go buy some. Oh, I should have bought some. Now I. Ah. I knew, if I knew that was actually one of those things, I would have actually done it. Oh well. Let's see. Silk Robe increases her luck. Oh right, she, right, she uses that. So I guess we, I guess we, oh, we need to give him three potions? You're kidding me. I just realized they want three potions, not just two. Alright. Let's check the rest of the upper level first. Uh-oh. Oh no. Whoa, that was close. What was that? I'm sorry, I've forgotten. That's a trap to stop intruders. Pay attention to what you're doing. There's a switch on the wall ahead. If you press it, the boulder should stop coming out. Good to know. The heck is that thing? Whoa, well, what is that spinning thing? That's a Naplusa uh, Bakura. You can't mean the great professor's Naplusa's. Yes, it's a device made of concentrated mana in physical form. Normal attacks cannot harm it. You can't get past it. I'm sorry, but if you strike it with a powerful impact... Powerful impact? Hmm... Well, that means I need, it sounds like I need, just need to push it. For now, we're gonna deactivate that. How's it going, Ominous Satoshi? 
How are you doing tonight, man? Because our objective, our dungeon tonight are the mines. I activated both machines here, so... Let's see what's down here, then. Don't worry. Leave it to me. <laughs> also, I just realized how the combat in this game works again. And I think this is actually where I stopped playing. I don't remember this dungeon. I actually don't remember this dungeon at all. I remember I got Regal. That's actually what I remember last time I played this game all those years ago. You picked the actually, over, guy over to a decade ago. God, it's been way too long. Yeah, I think this is actually new. Thunder Cape. Uh, wait, Thunder Cape? Oh, it literally is a cape that gives you defense and lightning. Cool. Uh, is anyone still? Yeah, you're still using boots, so you can have Thunder Cape. Not much of a specimen. I'm just trying to actually unlock all the, uh... I wonder if the weapon abilities are unlocked faster. Like, I'm trying to just use the weapon abilities 50 times. It seems like every time you use a 50 of it, at some point, I'll just get the, uh... At some point, I'll just get the, uh... Unlock. for the weapons. I was just warming up. Beef, some lemon gel. Oh, just an item. Super pellets. Still never checked actually what the pellets do. Is that seriously it? You just go down here for that? That's a little weird. Alright. So... How... You know what that reminds me of? It reminds me of, um... Oh, what was that game called? It's called Trapped on the PS2, but I'm not referring to that one. I'm actually referring to Tecmo's Deception. Tecmo's Deception. Where you can just drop a boulder on someone. That, oddly enough, I was actually afraid of that game, but... If you've never heard of Tecmo's Deception, I actually... Ugh. So... Tired of mines. I know it can't be helped, but we, we sure wind up having to go through a lot of caves and tunnels, you know? What's up, Lloyd? Hmm? Ah, uh, well... Lloyd, you're bored with caves, aren't you? Bored? No, it's, it's not like that. Right, then. Gotta find that inhibitor. Of course, we have to restore Persea back to normal as quickly as possible. I know that. So... I'm confused now. I'm confused. Ow. Okay. Maybe. I'm thinking this is too long, though. Yeah, no, that's too long. Here, maybe? How would we push that? Can we, can we get it to chase us? Okay. That, that's a no. Oh, so we can't get it to chase us. Never mind. Oh, that's actually kind of annoying. That's actually annoying. Okay, that's fine. Come on, chase us. That's weird, actually, that would have you do something like this. Alright, yeah, that should be good. No, no, you're chasing me. You were chasing me all the way through, buddy. What? Fine, have a boulder. I'll actually kill you. I wonder if there's anything we can get from that. I didn't expect him to actually act like a normal enemy.
I thought like it would just engage in normal combat, and I'd have to run away from him. So the tile from Zelda makes a cameo appearance, and you're telling me it gives out a ton of experience in this game. I wonder what the licen licensing costs is for the, uh, for the tile. I'm assuming he, this thing drops something. I'm kind of making that assumption right now. It's in pieces now. Oh, my precious sample. Professor, what are you doing picking up the fragments? Shut up! Hmm? What is it, Professor? I wonder what this is. Looks like a cha uh, chakram. Let's go ahead and take it. The evil eye. Well, looks like we got a weapon for Colette, at least. A cursed weapon. Kills the weak with one glance. As... Wait. Why does this thing not have any stats? Kills the weak with one glance. Well, we're not fighting the weak right now, so something tells me if we do any backtracking, we'll try and use it. In later tale, uh, and you started playing the later games, uh, when you play this, keep on trying. They gain power over time. Well, I'm curious enough to try it out. Okay, so it's one of those, so it's kind of like the, uh, the chicken dagger in Final Fantasy games, where you run up where the power is determined by how much you run away. Or, I think it was called, I think it was called, like, Brave Dagger? Where it was based on how many battles you didn't run away from? It was very famous in Final Fantasy V. Like, that's the one thing I remember it from. Not much like, of a specifically the chicken dagger. Here we go! Nope, no units to attack. We can actually use Nurse. Roy, you look so cool. I'm starting to wonder about your taste, Colette. What's that supposed to mean? <laughs> Well, at least fried rice gives us a lot. So then, oops. so what did what did show? Would it show it gaining stats then? Because now the question is like, okay, how would it gain more power? Not much of a specimen. No way. Or did, you know the the worst thing about that, that, that this thing could be is that if it's based on um how many actual KOs you get uh with it. X gem level three, nice. You have to find a level four X gem though. This is the inhibitor or mining area. So which one is inhibitor? Hmm. Let's search this area. There may be some left over in the wooden boxes. Oh please, I'm not going through all those boxes. Let's just blow them all up. I agree. I don't know Not who's more simpler, Zelos or Lloyd. I'm pretty confident that golems are strong against birds. Are you okay? I wonder if there's some sort of sin- I doubt there's any synergy with any in any of the angel attacks, but I'm still curious if there is. Oh, at least we got some guard bottles. 
Uh, is there anything else here? Nope, we are literally just blowing up all the boxes. Alrighty. Let's blow them all up. It's always the last one you look. Inhibitor was found. This is Inhibitor. We did it, Lloyd. Now we can say Persea. Yeah, all I need to do is all I need to do now is prepare this. How long will that take? To be honest, only a dwarf could do it right. If I've carved the uh, the charm directly into this, I think it will serve in place of a key crest. If that's all right. I can make it right away. Just wait, wait just a little bit. I think this will do. Later, once Persea has returned to her normal self, let's have Dad or Altessa make a real one. I understand. And let's return. It is unbearable to leave Persea in that house steeped in with a stench of death. Yeah. I'm really curious about that evil eye. I'm really curious about that evil eye. One fight after another. <laughs> Just perfectly in the middle there. Just to actually be hurt by all the attacks. Help is on the way. Nurse! Oh, oh that's was the, the nurse. Wrong guy to mess with. How's it going, Dinostar? How am I doing? Uh, honestly, I feel like I wasted today. I wasted. I feel like I wasted today simply because this I was trying to be, be productive. I know that's contradictory. But at the same time, though, I feel like it's kind of a like, Kind of a necessary thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's the thing I'm trying not to keep in my mind right now is work. Well, if you work full time, that's honestly what a lot of people do, unfortunately, since we've now converted the norm into everyone just working an eight hour day, or honestly, for a lot of people, they're actually more or less actually kind of working like 11 to 12 hours. And I say that just simply because it's based, because it's not just instantly teleporting to work. Like, you know, in terms of hours, you're basically there for nine hours. Because if you work full time, you're basically, you're there for, you're wasting an hour of your day because you have to get a lunch and that's unpaid for. Which honestly is kind of terrible in this day and age. We don't pay for lunch. Or lunch isn't paid, I should say. Or counts towards the eight hours like it used to. Nor do we actually go for, um... And then after, depending on your commute, you are usually spend maybe an hour going through that. You only work part-time. Well. See, I actually don't mind... Um... That's not good. Strategy change. Um... Oh, right, we should probably actually, uh... Uh, can we not hurt this thing? Oh, okay. It, we can damage it. Yeah, my computer can take, like... 30 minutes to an hour. I'm actually worried. I'm surprised this thing doesn't attack. And it runs away. Actually surprised. That can actually be an, en an enemy. Don't worry. Leave it to me. See, honestly, I would think people, like, in five hours, I think most people get their majority of their stuff done in five hours. But depending on how complicated you, you know, the people make the systems and such, or... And this is more related to 
more delayed services, how long it actually will take. Because I'll be honest, I actually prefer working in environments that, especially now, where your interaction is basically a one and done. It's like, okay, we're doing this one thing, and then that's it. Yeah, at least, you're right, I, at least I did get grade for it, and I haven't spent my grade in a while. And I needed the money. That, that's honestly the other reason why we're getting into a lot of fights here. We, we need the money. Although I'm curious how you would open that door, though. Gotta be a way to open up that door, though. Probably a reason we should, we'll Man, actually be going back to these mines. Oh, Alright, I'll just let you guys go past. Yeah, no, that's the kind of thing I'm... That's kind of the situation I'm in, is basically like, there's always something that needs to be accomplished. Unfortunately, it's... 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 Ooh, nullify. Unfortunately, it's for the reason that... No matter what you do, there's someone who kind of messes everything up. Or a person so lazy, you're basically doing their job instead. And that's the type, that honestly the type of person I hate being around the most. If it's a fat person says like, Well, this is my job, but you gotta do it. This is gonna be a piece of cake! But I personally, like, prefer... Oh, that is cool. I may be terrible at playing the mage in games, but I really do love seeing multiple magics. I think... There we go. I wonder if I need a level 3s actually do anything. Let's see... Threaded wave, earth, water, spread. Let's see, ice tornado. Where is it? Tidal wave. Ooh, that costs a lot of uh, TP. It's no good. There are no X spheres around here either. Farley. Regal. So you're the one who destroyed the guard system outside. Who's that? That's Farley, the x broker. What's he doing here? Why are you here? Why has the Pope let you stay free? That's not what I agreed to. Hahaha, <laughs> did you really think the Pope would keep his promise to a murderer? And you've forgotten to pro- uh, if you've forgotten your promise to bring us Colette, you joined with them instead. Silence! If the Pope will not fulfill his promise, then I will not punish you myself. No way! No way! I'm getting out of here! Regal? Who was that? Who is that man? He called you a murderer. I am a prisoner serving time for the crime of murder. I won't blame you if you look down on me. What happened? Explaining would be an excuse. I committed a crime. That's all that needs to be said. Many stupid, many stup my stupid actions have killed many people. I don't know what you did, and your crime won't go away. But when you're suffering, it's alright to at least say so. Um, I don't know how to explain it very well, but I think we all we have the uh, goddess inside all of our hearts. I think the god, uh, the goddess also bears the burden of your sins with you. Um, that's all. Perhaps someday I I will have the opportunity to tell the story. I apologize. Put the cardboard in dry compactor. Pulling the cardboard off shelves, cleaning spills and stuff. Sounds like a uh, honestly it kind of sounds like a janitorial position. That's that's what you're making it sound like at least. That's what you're making it sound like, at least. Don't worry, please. I mean, there's nothing wrong with that, honestly. Although, the, the cardboard part is the part that kind of has me scratch my head here, actually. Oh my god. Oh, 
Oh, <laughs> stop beating up Lloyd, please. Oh, that's a really bad. Oh, that's a really bad poison. Oh, not orange gel. That's a really bad poison. The store calls it general services. And that's 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 as general as you can get, honestly. That's as that is as general as you can get. I mean, the fa I guess the fancier way you could call it would be maintenance services. I'm curious. Are you serious? Ah, oh, of course I wouldn't let you actually go this way. I think since we're here, we're gonna take a look this and see what the other um, the other area actually has here. This is the dry compactor part. It kind of has me scr uh, just kind of scratching my head. But yeah, it just kind of sounds like it's a you know janitorial slash maintenance position. Also, how's it going, Ganaham? How are you doing tonight, man? I think I've used this 50 times now. <laughs> Was that a bit too much? Okay, so you're also so you're involved in the food industry then. You got the second Trails in the Sky game on Friday, and it's really good. Oh, I'm happy you're actually playing that game. I'm actually I've honestly been curious about actually um about that game and how it is. You and I are. We've killed a human being. That's correct. I apologize. I imagine it's not easy traveling with a criminal. I hope you can tolerate me for a short while. Just long enough for us to save Perseia from the curse of her X-Sphere. I'm a murderer too. What? I've hurt countless people in order to protect myself. I don't know what you did, but I won't tell you to, uh, to leave just because you killed people. I see. Because we're all the same. Thank you. That doesn't mean I like you, understand? I see. Like I said, I'm curious what uh what the uh what the tales would be for Joshua. Don't worry, leave it to me. <laughs> Especially since you're gonna be using a lot of the characters from the previous game, and they also probably revamped his, uh, the augment system as well. All right. Your cooking is really good. Oh, thank you. Praises like that make it worthwhile to cook. You know, Genus is a good cook too. I guess you guys are better at cooking, huh? Hmm. Now that you mention it, most chefs are males. Maybe it has to do with strength. Cooking is pretty labor-intensive. But if that's the case, then women are said to be more suited for fighting. What? They are? It's something I've read. The reason is because women are not afraid of blood. I didn't know that. Man, women are scary. I guess I get a little scared when there's blood. Yes. We mustn't forget that some uh, some women in our group are stronger than us. We must work harder so that we are not the burden. Such a hassle, or yeah, you're right. I'm gonna go with yeah, you're right. I don't want to get smacked in behind the head by rain again. Yeah, you're right. Let's work harder, together. Really no, uh, I don't really know how it's scratching your head. 
Well, it's it's because you use the word compactor. Like I think of when I think of compactor, I think of something. Um, Reinforcements, huh? Like I didn't know you would have a machine to quite literally compact the cardboard. Like to me, that sounds like it would be, you know, more related towards heavy machinery. Although I guess if you work, yeah, that's the that's the only thing I can think of. It would be like a garbage compactor. Is there actually anything over here, or is there, or this literally abs is there absolutely nothing here? No, there actually looks like there's something here. No, that's actually on an island. What the heck? Here comes more of them. I have a feeling this is one of those games where basically, no matter what you do, like very minimalist. Just as I expected. It's like, alright, you just need to go to this area. Don't go anywhere else. And... No, we can't actually walk past this area. Is there a marker or something here? Okay, so you're, so you're just using... You're using some work jargon, then. Okay, so it's, a, it's basically a, a garbage compactor, then. Can I actually walk all around this island? I would be surprised if you can. Not much of a specimen. Especially with no um. Oh my god! Please. Okay. Angel feathers. Here we go. Tidal wave. Ready. Nope. Now, I guess, actually, I guess it would be kind of useless just to use Tidal Wave on an individual. But yeah, I guess course, if you're working at a grocery store, then it sounds, you definitely would have to deal with a lot of cardboard. I'm just waiting for that one moment that says, like, you can't go any... F and there it is. Okay. So, we there's literally no point to exploring this area. Not much of a Aside from money. Which we actually do need. We do desperately need money. Just as I expected. At least we're getting a lot of anti-magic bottles, too. I don't even remember actually being able to buy more Palma Potion in the game, either. How many times we... Oh, we used, definitely have used Demonic Thrust more than enough times. Demonic Tiger Blade. Uh, Demonic Tiger Blade. Let's see. Oh, we have another one, Tempest Thrust. Okay, so we'll use Tempest Thrust. And I know we're, I know we're gonna be very inefficient here for a moment. Uh, where is it? Demonic Tiger Blade. Nope. That was the wrong one. Uh, Demon Fang. Tiger Blade. Demonic Tiger Blade. Yeah, that definitely sounds like that definitely sounds like it's a lot of work, actually. But it's like, I'm the type of person, if you can get your work done in five hours, get it done in five hours, and then go off and enjoy the rest of your day. You know, I'm nev I've never been the type of fan of having nothing to do, and then just having to wait around, and be like, on call. I mean, with the exception of like... You know, there's actually, like, right, nothing else to do for the day. It's like, just let me move on with my day. And I understand, like, there's sometimes, it's like, depending on the occupation and stuff, sometimes work just piles on in. You know, I'm completely well aware of that, uh, that uh, situation. I think that's on an island. Not but I personally am the mindset, it's like, just get your people, you know... Unless you're there to do something like sales, which honestly is actually a position I've recently actually applied for. Actually, Tempest Lust is pretty good. Honestly, be pretty good, actually. Like, at least against the bigger boys. Just as I expected. 
But that's only because I believe in at least a certain level of efficiency when it comes to work. Because I don't like wasting other people's time either. I'm doing well. Have it yourself, worry. True Lotus. I probably will be well tomorrow, but hey, that's my that's that's the that's the unfortunate call of being in places. That's also something else I've learned myself. I don't like being in places. Ew, I just realized those things actually have eyes. Let's see, it's telling nothing. I would think those evil eyes would just increase in power over time, but I don't know if it's by combat You're or not. This. You're feeling a bit sick, unfortunately? Yeah, I'm sorry, man. I know you're still dealing with a lot of your, uh, with your condition, man. What else do I typically stream? Well, this year I've kind of dedicated towards the RPGs. So that's why it's, you'll pretty much see me going through RPGs, but... Primarily, for the Just past, I, I want to say three, I'm going on four years now streaming. Um, I've actually just been uh, focused on beating games for my backlog, primarily. Evil Eye has a complicated thing behind it, but basically it is increasing yet. Okay, so it's something we'll just learn about later. I wonder if I, I guess I could go to that island. Actually, yeah, let's actually go to that island. But no, primarily right now, at the moment, it's just, um... It's primarily just gonna be like JRPGs right now, because every single month, I'm trying to beat one RPG a month. Aha, so there's a dock. There's gotta be something to do here. Like, they wouldn't, they definitely wouldn't put a dock here if they didn't want you to actually access it. Of course, the harder part is actually getting there. You'll never get through your backlog. See, I was originally having that problem because I kept buying a bunch of, um... A bunch of games from, uh, like, the Humble Bundles and such. That was my problem. And I kinda, and I really laid off on that. Welcome to the Southeastern Abbey. I never thought I'd get, actually get the chance to say that. Visitors to this remote abbey? This is unusual. I wonder if there's a dog. That's to the field. You keep buying a bunch of games on sale. See, I've really had to go off on that. Entrance is forbidden. Okay. Wait, really? Ah, oh, went to this place for no reason at all. It's a bust. Uh, hello. I'd like to leave. Welcome to the Abbey. Even those knights don't even know what's going on. God, it's... So what games are still in backlog? Ooh, that's... there's a lot, honestly. There's a lot that's in my backlog. And why is holding forward on the right analog stick faster than holding A? Oh, it's now in... Seriously? Are you- are you real? There's a- you, you have to access the re just to be able to get that. I have a lot of games on my backlog, but pretty much for this year I dedicated towards the JRPGs. Because I want to actually- it's been a long time since I actually sat down and played through RPGs. And I really do enjoy, um, a lot of the stories in RPGs. A lot of the characters and a lot of things to actually do uh, in them, and that's why I kind of did. That's why I de dedicated this year towards the J, not really JRPGs, but just not RPGs in general, because we've actually we've actually played through a lot of um, Falcom games, um, for example. You picked the wrong guy to. You recently got all the achievements in Nino Kuni 2. Oh my goodness! The completionist would like to have a word with you. Uh, is this the right way? Mm, something telling me no, this is not the right way. No, wait, it actually... No, this is the right way. Okay. Just wanted to make sure. Probably should save, too. It has been a while. A nice job getting all the achievements. 
<laughs> I'm trying to think here. Uh, so we went through... Hmm? That's them! The wanted criminals! Ah, oh, crap. Not the Papal Knights again. Oh, it's Papal. Why didn't I realize? I kept calling on Papal. Why do they always show up where we're going? Well, well. It isn't Master Zelos. I trust you are well. Damn it! Remember, capture Colette alive! <laughs> good, good luck Don't on worry. that, buddy. Leave it to me. Good, good luck with that, buddy. Lens. Man of Night. Oh, okay, that did not work out how I thought it would. Here we go. Long live the foe. Long live the what? Both of the Zawai games are in your backlog, Tokyo Zen do X, Tales of, uh, Trails of Cold uh, Steel, 1 and 2. Man, you really like JRPGs. No, like I said, primarily right now it's focused this year towards RPGs, so we only have one RPG left to beat. So we've beaten... We've technically beaten... how many have we beaten? We technically have beaten 14 RPGs this year. On stream. We managed to win. Well, 15 technically, if we count, uh, Battle Chasers Night War. And I only say that technically because we actually beat that last year. It's my fault again. I'm so sorry, everyone. Don't be silly. They're after my life, too. The Professor and Genus are wanted because they're half-elves. Sheena is from Mizuho, now considered a village of traitors. And Regal is considered a traitor as well. Thanks. Stop thinking everything's your fault. I'm sorry, Lloyd. You don't need to apologize for it. Ow! Ugh! Ow! Ow! Colette! Professor! Colette's... She's running a fever. But what could be causing this much pain? Moo, please leave this to me. Prisea? Uh, all right. Good work, Prisea. Uh, I definitely don't remember this. Damn, Corinne! I am Rhode Isle, the most cunning of the Desiron Grand Cardinals. I hope you don't mind me taking the chosen one. <laughs> Desion? Why are the Desions in Tepeola? Lloyd, will you help Prisea? Yeah. I've carved the charm. With this, she should return to her real self. Huh? Prisea, are you okay? What? What am I doing? Where's my daddy? I've been doing 
Yeah, okay, that's actually a good reaction. Thank you for assisting me with my daddy's burial. Have you calmed down a little? I've been a great burden on you all. You remember? Yes, mostly. Why did you have an extra like that on you? I received it from a person named Varley. I knew it. Varley. I wanted to save my sick daddy. I wanted to learn how to wield an axe so that I could work in my daddy's place. So Varley introduced me to Rodile, and I was taken to the research academy in Cybac. The experiments on you were carried out by order of the Pope, right? Which means that design is in league with the Pope. Prisea, do you have an older sister? No. Do you have any other family? I have a younger sister. She left to go into service for a noble, and that was the last I saw of her. And my mommy died when I was a child. Wait, she has a younger sister? When you were a child? <laughs> You're still a child now. Oh, yes, of course. That's right. At any rate, we can't just leave you here in this village by yourself if you have no one to turn to. Yes, the people of this village seem to avoid her. I, uh... I'd like to go with all of you if that would be alright. Huh? Why? It's my fault that Colette was taken away. So please, let me help in her rescue. Please allow me to come along as well. It seems that my fate is linked to your enemy. Of course, what do you think, guys? Well, I know Lloyd would simply say that. Hmm? Uh, I don't have a mod bot or anything, Dynasty Star. I see you listed a lot of JRPGs, buddy. A lot of JRPGs. I think, if anything, you probably went past the, um... Whoa, Dynasty Star, stop, dude. We saw the first one. Don't worry. Do not worry, we saw that. Of course you're welcome to join us. Help us save Colette. I will. Thank you. I am in your debt. I shall not betray your trust. Now let's hurry and find Colette. Alright. They headed east. So you've lost the Chosen. You again! What have you done with Colette? Rodile is ignoring our orders and acting on his own. I know nothing of it. Internal strife? How pathetic. Say what you will. Either way, he will have no choice but to abandon the Chosen. What do you mean? The Chosen is useless as she is now. You can let her be. You've got to be kidding me. We're going to rescue Colette no matter what. And if you get in our way... <laughs> Then, I suggest you seek the Riards and head for the Eastern Skies. I'm sure the people of Mizuho have located the Riards by now. What's that guy trying to do? Ah, oh, well, who cares? If he's useful, make use of him. I agree. Anyway, let's head back to Mizuho for now. Okay then, just to make it official, welcome to the group, Prisea. Thank you. My cute little Prisea. I'll protect you, okay? Thank you, Zelos. Oh, oh, I'll, I'll... Come on, let's go! I'll protect you too. Oh, stupid, stupid Lloyd! Wait, why are you blaming Lloyd? I mean... Quick jump... Wait, why would you... Wow. I'm surprised they're offering a quick jump here. No. I'm surprised the game actually offers a quick jump. So I was told if I wait long enough, there will be a skit here from True Lotus. Lloyd got all the girls onto him. No, he doesn't. Colette's secret. I can't stop wondering what that means. What that means, have you figured out something about Grusha's schemes? Just recently, they've been saying that the Chosen is useless. They keep saying that. 
Yes, Colette is supposed to possess the necessary properties to become Martel's vessel. So what are they talking about? Now that you mention it, you're right. I mean, I'd understand if they said Zelos was useless. Hmm. Yeah, you're right. Hey, what's that second comment supposed to mean? Stop joking around, you two. This may mean Colette is still hiding something. Yeah. Uh, just run outside for a while. You can try and grind some experience while you wait for the skit. It gets you a title. Interesting. Okay, Dynasty Star, you just gotta stop talking about JRPGs, buddy. We know you own a lot of them. That's that's honestly kind of normal around these parts. It is anything I've realized through streaming JRPGs this You're entire year. This. It has been that a lot of people... And there are a lot of people who actually really do enjoy, enjoy RPGs, but it, I think it's, it has that mindset you picked the wrong guy to where when it comes to streaming, it's one of the things like, if you've beaten it, then you want to watch someone else go through it, just for those, just for those reactions. Just for those reactions, but not much of a specimen. it's not something people really want to watch because they'll ruin the story for themselves. Or if they don't have the time, or they're really tired and drained from work and stuff. Or they have like, or they're trying to do the schoolwork and such at the same time. Like, we all have a lot of JRPGs. Some more than others, I mean, for goodness sakes, we could say Proton John has more RPGs than all of us combined. And that would definitely be true, and I just realized I lost Colette. Who the heck is gonna be our fourth? Who the heck is gonna be our fourth year? I kinda want it to be Regal. Although Zelos is. Zelos is actually not bad, actually. Zelos would honestly be. Zelos would not be. would actually be pretty good, because I would get a second healer. Use keep freely at once, moderation. I use skills and magic. Regal's too OP. I gotta admit, I kinda like Regal. We're gonna go with Regal. I feel bad, honestly, because Sheena's really good. Actually, now that I think about it, none of our characters actually have any... I have not gotten a single title with any of these people. At all. It's a bit worrying, actually. Oh, I apparently did get a different weapon. Weaker. And she gave just give her a second set of boots. And let's see what we go. We actually took I anyway, I took away his accessories. Uh let's see. Raises accuracy. Interesting. Well for now we'll just have him have more defense or attack. And we'll give him boots. The only thing you know about Proton John, he's married to Luka Jin now, so he pops into some of her Let's Plays, and he's part of the Runaway Guys, which you're subscribed to. This is gonna be a Well, he also has a massive game collection of like I don't know, I wanna say like maybe it's up to six thousand now, probably. I wouldn't be surprised if it was up to six thousand. And what the heck is on my turn right here? Redemption still eludes me. Earn the title Way of the Jungle. There we go. That's what we wanted. We wanted titles. Way of the Jungle. HP, Defense, and Evasion. The truly strong go all out, even against the weak. Title for you who showed your will. I'm also curious just simply what's this about. I want to see if I can talk to him now. Hi. Lloyd, welcome. Hmm? What's that wonderful smell? I just finished making curry. Oh, it's curry? Do you like curry? Then shall I give you the recipe? Would you? Thanks. Here is the recipe. Someone other than the Wonder Chef gave us a recipe. Curry requires three ingredients. Rice, onion, and red saute. 
thanks, Tabitha. You are welcome. Nice. We got ourselves a new, uh, new uh, something to cook. Curry restores a moderate amount. Ooh. Wait, Genius is not good at cooking curry? That's a surprise. Or beds. There's something you follow on Twitch that does a Tales Symphonia playthrough monthly. Wow! He's gotta be a speedrunner. Leave me be. I wonder, actually. Are you gonna tell that to Persea? Doesn't even acknowledge her. What about you? Okay, guess there's nothing else to here to do. I'm actually curious what, like, everyone apparently has some sort of skill. He just loves Tales Symphonia. That's a surprise, honestly, if he's not a speedrunner. Well, let's go see here. Let's try and actually buy ourselves some more of some better weapons. We can't go to talk to dogs anymore. Uh, what's the weapon store here? Uh, I think the item shop was upstairs, if I remember correctly. I need both, actually. Yeah, I'm curious, who's the guy? Guy as in just gender neutral sort of stuff. Let's not go assuming any hostilities here. Now Skeeter, they ain't hurting nobody. Pineapple gel, life bottles, pork. Knife. Let's see. Okay, so they're they're white, that means they're mandatory. Might as well. Rice. Do I need any additional stuff? This is probably a bad thing to do, but I'm just gonna buy a bunch of, uh, meat for the curry. Now we're actually getting money. He owns multiple copies of, tale, of every Tales game, except for Seria. That's pretty good, honestly. If he's got them all. Let's see. Armor Tranquility Shop. Got one breastplate. We get an Elven Protector. Let's see. And we can buy another Witch's Robe here. Cross Helm. I think now's the time I should probably actually upgrade everyone's equipment here. Since I haven't actually been seeing a lot of, um... Are these the same? Just one gives luck? Okay, but I do need to buy silk gloves for, uh, her. And... I think that's... I'll buy him a breastplate. Oh wait, no, he already has... This is already a breastplate for him. Let's see... Gale Staff, still can't do anything about that. I don't have any black silver. Pointed hat, not a be a waste. Guess who his waifu is? Yeah, everyone seems to really love Sheena. I don't know why, honestly. I mean, I guess I kind of understand why, but at the same time, it's more of like... There are other characters. I'm gonna guess chances are it probably has to do with just... Um... That was like their first... Like, might just be their first game. That's what I don't see attributed to. So, Card of Wind, actually, is apparently her best one now. Misty Robe, Rich's Robe. One gives, ooh, 20 Evasion. Eh, I guess we don't need Evasion. Pretty Ribbon. Angel Bracelet. Need to get her something else besides uh, leather stuff. Let's see. Breastplate. I think this, he has Cross Helm now. I'm surprised I haven't seen any, um... Any, what do you call it? Uh, let's see. Lunar Guard. Elven Protector. Apparently Elven Protector's better. Green Ribbon. At least Silk Gloves are better, actually. Alright. Tap yourself a good night, Dynasty Star. Thanks for coming, man. Like I said, if you want to watch more of this, I'm st I usually stream for every two hours. 
Man, we have dropped a lot of frames, honestly. A little worrying. And where the heck's the inn? I think it's downstairs. Nope, no it isn't. That's fine, though. Alright, let's go to Mizuho. I am actually surprised we made it through this. Uh... Did we actually need to go through the forest? Oh yeah, we did have to go through the forest. What am I thinking? Hey, thank you very much for the host, Silver Symphonia. You know, if you had some fo you didn't Not have the Symphonia in your name, probably would think, hey, that's a bot. That is a big beast ogre. I know, I'm, I'll be honest, like... I don't know why, as a blade, I kind of actually haven't liked, um... Emotes, and that's simply because I learned. It's like I'm it playing RPGs. <laughs> I want the story to be focused on, um, you know, focused on the actual uh, game. Chef Regal, can you cook, Regal? Hmm. Don't underestimate me. How about you decide whether I can or can't after you taste it? Hey, this is pretty good. Of course. I know I knew you probably make it with your feet. <laughs> Of course. That was a joke. Doesn't sound like a joke when you say it. I can relate to you. You just really like the Tales games? Wow, you even actually have an emote of it. I'm actually surprised your emote isn't actually of a really bad drawing this is of Lloyd. Be a piece of cake. Um, <laughs> from the Desert Village. In Silverhawk. This is actually a blind playthrough, just to let you know, uh, Symphonia, so I'd actually... We're actually at, we're actually at new ground now. I do not remember this stuff at all now. Because I originally played this back on the GameCube, but then I just kind of stopped. Because I decided to prioritize real life over anything else. Alright. Let's see... Well, let's go to the Village Elder. And let's see if there's anything... Ooh, we can see if they actually got our expedition back. I don't think I got anything from the expedition. Done this much. Oh, go get me items. I hope I'm not missing anything. It's actually Arcana... Wait, Arcana 19 Zemote? Oh, okay. <laughs> I don't think it. I don't think people really come here to judge when it comes to watching someone else on stream. I think as long as you're having a good time, that's all that matters. That's all that matters. Honestly, I probably should buy these uh, uh, water spider boots. Alright. Just because. Just because we can. Oh, you're right, the Mithu's up potion. But are we coming back? Alright, fine, whatever. Let's just go with that. Let's see. I'll buy a couple of them. Still need to get three of them, though. That's a lot, though. There we go. Oh, Lloyd. Good timing. What is it? We've located the Riards. It's just like Kratos said. Why does he do this like uh, like that to help us if he's our enemy? But now we can save Colette. Sheena, before you recover the Riards, I must give you a test. A test, Vice Chief? Yes, even if we recover the Riards, if Volt's mana runs out, they will crash again. Thus, before recovering the Riards, we're going to form a pact with Volt. I know it's hard, but it's a test you must overcome. I... I can't! Sheena failed to form a pact with Volt once before. That is the reason why the Chief is in a coma. Did... Okay. That... 
Ah, that, that's an epic, that's a bombshell right there. It's a pretty famous incident. A quarter of Mihozo's population died. She puts on a strong face, but she's really alone in this village. So cheer up, man. She seems to have a thing for you. And now we know why everyone likes, uh, likes Sheena. Sheena looked like she was about to cry. And I believe that uh, the deeper the wound, the more important it is to overcome it. I agree. That's honestly really good. When Sheena fa uh, failed in forming pac uh, the Pact of the Vault, many villagers died. Chief Ikorugi protected Sheena and has not opened his eyes since. Sheena took on any task she was asked of for the sake of this village. Even when she was sent to uh, participate in the Summon, uh, summon Spirit Pact experiments at the Imperial Academy, she showed not one sign of objection, even though she had no idea what she was getting into. Sheena's heart is over uh, was overcome by the fact that the people of Mihuzo died. Because of her, she closed herself inside a shell. But because of this, even in this even in the village, she is alone. I think a lot of people can relate with something like that. So that's why Sheena didn't want to form the packs. Lloyd, let's cheer her up somehow. When Sheena failed in making the pact with Volt, Orochi and Kuchinawa's parents died. But even after that, those two brothers did not strike back against Sheena. They stayed true to their creeds as ninjas. You understand the pain of involving others in an incident you caused. Go to her. I feel sorry for Sheena. It was a mission and people have lost their lives uh, in other missions. Hmm, I don't know about complicated stuff like that. Finally, the only child who actually doesn't know what's going on. It, it was kind of weird actually seeing everyone. What the heck is Regal? Regal? Uh, oh, there's Regal. Sheena is too young, to, too frail to accept the cruel fate forced upon her. Lend her your strength. Okay. Alright. He's by the cats. Don't worry. If it comes down to it, I'll save you. Just like you saved me a long time ago. I can't. I can't do it. You heard, didn't you? So many people died because I failed to make a pact with Volt. We heard. What about it? So I may wind up killing you too. We won't die. Why? Because you're going to succeed. How do you know that? I already failed once. He'll succeed. We've been your we've been helped by your summon spirits countless times. You're not the old Sheena. We've already made pacts with other summon spirits. It'll be fine. You'll do great. I guarantee it. Yeah, Sheena, I'll help too. And if the Volt goes berserk again? Cut him down myself, and that'll be the end of that, okay? Alright, I'll try it. I should have listened to that theme, if that was Sheena's theme. I did not put any stock for that. As for the whereabouts of the Riards, I'll send Orochi to the temple later. Ask him about them. The Temple of Lightning is north of here. Take care. Sheena's real name. She has... She's not Sheena? Orochi and Kuchinawa are brothers, right? Those are some interesting names. They're both old Mihozo words for snake, but those uh, those, aren't their, those aren't their real names. Are they aliases? Not exactly. In Mizuho, we have a tradition of giving people an additional name while hiding our real names. Really? What are their real names? Beats me. Only they, their parents, and the chief know, and whomever they marry. Is your is your name a second name as well? Yeah, that's right. Persea, I know Sheena's real name. What? How could you know? Sheena's real name is Violent Demonic Banshee. Zelos! 
See? See? I told you, she's a violent banshee! Have yourself a good night, True Lotus. Hope you feel a little better, man. Alrighty. Alrighty, well, this is... Wait, we have to go north of here? Wait. Does this... Wait, how... This entire area is closed off. How do we go north of here, then? Oh, we have to go... We have to go through the forest again, don't we? We have to go through the forest again. The north is that way. Okay, so we do have to go through the forest again. There's got to be an, ex an extra exit, then. That's the only explanation. That is the only You're explanation. I think what we'll do for the rest of uh, tonight, then, we'll just do a couple of battles here, get a little bit more money, get a little bit more experience. I did actually want to explore the forest in full, actually. I felt like we left that way too early. I was just warming up. I really felt like we left the forest way too early, and it felt like there were a lot of items uh, that we actually picked up. Packed with Volt. Volt, this may not be easy. What do you mean? According to what I've read, the words Volt speaks are extremely unusual and indecipherable to humans. That's true, and that would mean the ritual of the Pact can't succeed. Yes, I hope I am able to translate his words. Hmm. Interesting. Not much of a specimen. I'm just like I said, we're probably just do a little bit of grinding here, get a little bit more money, because we did like I think we're at another point now where it's like, oh hey, we're getting money, but at the same time, uh it's kinda costing us a lot. It's kinda costing us a lot. Also, I still didn't see that whole um Tidal opportunity. Enemies. It's kind of surprising, actually. Although I do enjoy Crispin Freeman's voice acting. He's actually a really good voice actor. Just warming up. Actually, we'll stop the moment once Genus and Rain gets a level, which I think would probably be after this battle here. Not much of a specimen. Here we go. Ah, oh, the, the thrust still pushes them away. Like anything with thrust is pretty much for Lloyd, like a final, because you can't really con you can't really continue it. I usually prefer figuring out a lot of things for, uh, by myself on uh, for the most part. I'm very direct um, when it comes to asking for help and such. I'm extremely direct. Um, when it comes to asking for help or, or understanding, like, okay. systems a little bit better and such. So it's like, let's take, for example, something a little complex. So the X-Gem system, or the EX skill system. Here. Um, you picked the wrong guy to mess with. just as an example. So something like this here, it's like, um, you know, the EX attack and critical up, it's like, don't spoil that for me. It's like, if I find it, I find it. If I don't, I don't. I'm okay with that. Um, you know, little tidbits and stuff. Like, remember, I'm not I'm not going for 100% here. This is... The focus of Beat the Backlog, and what's made it honestly a challenge for this past year, has been trying to actually go through these RPGs as efficiently as possible, and not actually know what you're doing. Or where you actually need to go. And it really has been a very interesting Just challenge, like, basically going through these games. It's like, you're trying to focus on story, but at the same time you might just accidentally find... Hey, it's like, here's the side quest here. Let's try and actually do it, since we're here. So, things like that. You picked the wrong guy to mess with. So it's like, it's those little things like, okay, if there's something kind of interesting to check out and such, like, oh no, I'll definitely check it out. 
but if you do like, oh man, but you got back, you got back travel to a whole different continent and such, to an area just to get this one little thing here that's completely out of our way, then there's not much of a chance here I'm going to go for it. Pick the wrong guy to mess with. That's not a lot of experience. So we. Oh, they already leveled. I was not paying attention. All right, I think this is actually a good stopping point here. So tomorrow we'll actually focus on making our pact with Voltier. But for now, though, let's go check out and see who else is streaming. At the end of every stream, I always like to give recommendations of people I either watch, I follow, um, just so because I think I think the one you know downfall in terms of Twitch, it's. Well, it's not really a downfall, it's a problem with Twitch. Because there's so many different streamers out there that's hard to actually find other people's content and such. And so I like to put a little bit of a spotlight at the end of each stream and tell you, it's like, hey, I'll watch this guy here, you might have an interest in their type of content. So for now, though, music's gonna go silent here. There is actually a couple of people who are streaming right now. DS Koopa, he owns a video game store. Uh, called the Pink Gorilla in the state of Washington in the United States. And he actually, after hours of his game store, it's a used game store, he actually has been doing a home shopping network uh, stream, which is honestly kind of interesting. So it's basically just him, like, if he's working stuff, he just kind of, you know, part of it is him working, you know, packaging up things, but you can actually buy things uh, at discounted prices and such. Uh, from his used store. It's also an interesting concept uh, for a used game store to take and how to and integrate Twitch. And I honestly wouldn't mind actually seeing a couple of the used game stores actually take advantage of that. As it's a good way to actually kind of not only promote yourself as a store, but just get yourself out there. It's kind of been a dynamic thing. I personally don't know DS Koopa at all or the kind of individual he is. I just find the concept to be kind of oddly entertaining to watch. And finally, we have Smite here. Smite actually runs a game show every single Sunday at 5 p.m. Pacific Time, actually called The Arcade Pit. I uh, think if you've ever watched something like Nick Arcade back in the 90s, uh, it is very similar to that. It is a bunch of challenges of other people who, not, not exactly streamers, so anyone can actually uh, sign up to participate. And it challenges them, so video game challenges, art challenges, uh, and gen general knowledge of video games as well. It's very inter uh, it's an extremely entertaining show. I always recommend his streams. But for now though, he's actually going through The Legend of Zelda A Link to the Past using the crowd control extension. For those of you who never heard of the crowd control extension, it effectively allows the viewers to use bits or coins. You do get some coins for free and you can actually change the game. So you could take away his heart containers, you can add heart containers. Think of it like it's a hurt and help uh, sort of system where you're taking direct control of the of the game itself. So you can add things, minus things, um, within a certain respect. It kind of has a huge following right now because it's kind of, in it, especially in the retro, games, uh, retro game scene right now. So like I said, I personally find it to be quite in, uh, quite an interesting stream to watch, though. So I'm going to give a host over to Smite. Until then, though, hopefully you guys enjoyed tonight's stream. We'll be back with more of this tomorrow, and we shall go and find out where the heck Volt is through this forest here. Until then, like I said, hope you have a good start to your week, and take care.